This baby girl survived airstrikes on one of the towns in the southern countryside of Idlib province. But this child didn't. And then this during the day. White Helmets volunteers watched as barrel bombs dropped onto the village of Iblin. The Syrian Civil Defence Force know there's no time to waste. Entering a home, looking for a family. Quickly, 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 they shout. They all make it out alive. The United Nations is condemning the latest round of Syrian government and Russian airstrikes on the de-escalation or safe zones in the northwestern rebel-held areas of Idlib and Hama. School, health centres and residential areas have all been hit in the northwest of Syria. The UN say they are the most intensive barrel bomb attacks in 15 months. The airstrikes follow the killing of at least 60 Syrian soldiers and their allies during opposition attacks in the last couple of weeks. We're calling today on to all parties to do everything possible to ensure that uh, there is a proportionality, there is a respect of international law and that uh, civilians are protected. Nearly 140,000 Syrians have fled the latest bombardment of the war within the last three months. Many of them have managed to travel close to the border with Turkey and many more are expected to arrive soon. Sara Khairat, Al Jazeera.